Today we're talking to Sunita Williams, or Sunny Williams as she likes to be referred, and take part as well. Yeah? Okay. So if you would like to come up and. But it's a little bit garbled. GB4, GGB, this is November Alpha 1, SS, over. Hello, Sunita. This is Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh in the United Kingdom. I'm here today with over 100 brownies, guides and rangers from Girl Guiding Surrey West for our contact with you on the International Space Station from Brooklands Museum in Surrey, the original home of British motorsport and aviation. As president of Girl Guiding, no, actually now patron <laughs> of Girl Guiding Association in the UK, I want to thank you for the inspiration you show to our young girls to pursue a career in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Are you ready for your first question, Sunny? Over. Uh, your Royal Highness, yes, I am ready. I'm glad to hear your voice. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you too. This is all really exciting. <laughs> so, your first question. Who or what inspired you to become an astronaut? And what advice would you have for any of these girls here today who might want to follow in your amazing footsteps? Well, I, I think uh, my biggest uh, influence had to be my parents, you know, who, uh, who are just allowed me or, you know, showed me the way to try anything and don't worry about failing, don't worry about uh, having a little bit of trouble, but just try different things and, and be encouraged. I think those were my biggest um, advocates for when I was a kid and, and trying to do things that were a little bit different. So I would have to say my parents and I would say to the girls there that same advice, just try anything and see what you like you know don't be stuck in one thing or another see what uh, science technology engineering math arts what you find that you like and pursue it over do you have any free time and if so what do you spend your time doing over so yes we do have free time and so a lot of the times we want to look at our beautiful planet so we have an amazing window called the cupola where we can look down like i was looking just earlier and saw this big hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, right now we're coming off the coast of uh, Spain, so coming close to you. So those are some of the best things to do and take pictures of our wonderful planet as well as I write a journal. Over. What is the hardest part of your job? Over. Probably the hardest part is leaving family and friends for a period of time, but being up here on the space station, we actually have the opportunity to talk to them, which is great, so we could bring them along with us. But I also do really miss my dogs, because uh, I, I can't talk to them while I'm up here. Over. How does the food and drinks you have in space compare to foods on Earth? Over. Well, you know, it really is no comparison, because we don't have the opportunity to eat what, what we can eat on Earth. So what we have up here is pretty good. Actually, we had ice cream last night after dinner, and I had uh, some chicken fajitas with a tortilla. So it's not bad. Over. What do you miss about Earth? Over. You know what I miss about Earth is rain and wind. So like taking my dogs for a walk, that's what I usually get to experience. And we don't have any of that up here. Over. What was your reaction when you found out you had been selected to fly to the International Space Station? Over. Great question. I actually didn't really even believe it. I went through the motions for the, all the training, but really I didn't believe it until the rocket that I was on started leaving the planet and I could feel all that vibrations and we were going and then it became a reality. Over. Does space smell of anything? Over. Yes, yes it does. When we open a hatch, uh, after um, a portion of the space station has been exposed to the outside in space, it smells a little bit like burning. So I'm, I think that's ionization that we're smelling. So it does smell like something after a piece of equipment's been in space. Over. Thank you to the Duchess of Edinburgh 
for inviting us to this event today. Um, um, November, Alpha. November Alpha 1SS, over. I remember ages and years ago listening to Roger Caroline. In the middle of nowhere. I love Radio Caroline. We're trying to get people, uh, young people into engineering, especially girls. Yes, engineering, yes. Uh, RF engineering, because yes. everything depends on people. Forget the radios, everyone. Yes, your cell phone, everything. You set up the sinks and all kinds of things. Yeah, they get yes. Pretend to get into computers. Uh, yeah, no, it, it, it is. I mean, I mean, girls are really good at studying. Yeah. They really are. Really yeah. It. So, what Thomas said is the challenge to get them a lady spectrum engineer. Mm. Oh. It's on there. Yeah, that's yeah. our chat. <laughs> <laughs> Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. Hello. How are you? Did you enjoy it? Oh, wow. That's this is for you, Mum. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. That's very exciting. Did you did you enjoy today? Yeah, it was so good. It's not yes. crazy to hear her. I, I know. <laughs> it's kind of like on my. Yeah. It's quite like, slightly mind blowing. Really. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, what do you, what kind of STEM are you interested in? I prefer like the maths rather than the science. Yeah. Um, but obviously. I'm so you liked you liked the, uh, the 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 picture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the film? I haven't. No, not yet. I promise you, it's one of the most amazing films. It's really, really good. Um, it's called Hidden Figures, and it's about the women, but particularly this one woman who solved the equation of how to get the astronauts um, into space, and, and, you know, it, it, and and she not only. Um, was she a woman, very much in a man's world back then, when if you think in NASA they didn't even have ladies lose, there was no thing. So, um, and not only that, she was a woman of colour. So, she, and she was amazing. And she started this whole um, department and she went on to do incredible things. Uh, she's a very clever, very wise woman and uh, very determined. But um, yeah, there was one guy who just suddenly realised that actually what she was saying made sense. But there were others that had claimed credit for her work. Mm -hmm. And then he suddenly realised that she was her. Um, yeah, she was amazing. But very exciting. Lovely. Very exciting woman in, in, in science, actually. But you had to slightly look for them. Mm -hmm. they're, they're definitely there. Well, hidden gems. Definitely. Hidden gems. Yes, yes, well, they shouldn't be hidden. Okay. We need you to need you to do amazing things with maths. <laughs> And go up into space and do anything. <laughs> <that thing. laughs> yeah. I'm very honoured to present you with uh, a badge for being our patron. Oh, thank you. So you brooch today. Oh, that's nice wonderful. Oh, I'm going to have to replace this one. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's so it's lovely. Thank you so much. Honoured to have you as a patron. Oh, very much. That's so great. kind. Thank you. That. And that's fine, I'll leave it here. Yeah. That's great. Thank you very much yeah. indeed. It's uh, unique. Yes, unique. <laughs> yeah, really it's one of a kind. Thank you. I should try to brush wear it. Just seeing all the girls kind of so excited to, to hear. It was the forest of hands that started to go yes. up. Yeah. And a, bit, a little bit tentative to begin with, and then it's like, no, 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 I really want to ask yeah. a question. And we won't have time to get through all of them. Oh, but, um, yeah. And so I love the toilet well. question. Who wasn't thinking about yes. that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we knew it was going to come. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Was going to ask. Well, it's, it's actually yeah. a very important it's fundamental delicious. question. Yeah. 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 Probably the most interesting thing that I can That's what you want to hear, don't And having a shower. Yes, yeah. but Sunita was so chatty as well. We, she we was really, really, really lovely. Responses to the questions. Yeah, there were so many really questions I wanted to ask yes. her. I knew I, I was going to give, be given a script, and I had to stick to it. Like, yeah, okay, all right. I have to ask you this question, but there's some others I really want to ask. Thank you. Who's this a new t-shirt? We're talking to astronauts. Very exciting. <laughs>
Good job. Great stuff. 